Welcome to another video and today we'll be showing you how you can create your own wake words for your Pico Voice project. If you haven't already, go and watch our previous video in the top right which shows how to get started with the Pico Voice example and with a few alterations to turn a switch on and off in your house. This gets you set up with your board, the code and your Pico Voice account. Instead of having to use the wake word Pico Voice to wake up the speech engine, you'll probably want to add your own word. This is simple to train using the Pico Voice Porcupine engine through their web UI. So first we're going to need to get set up with the get UUID example. So if you just set your board in Visual Micro and go to the Visual Micro Explorer, we can then go to the examples tab and search for UUID and then open a copy of the get UUID sketch which will get our unique identifier from our board. So we're just going to add in a little delay just to ensure the serial monitors had time to open and then make sure you've got your board connected and the COM port selected and then we can just build and upload this example as normal. Once this has finished the upload, you just need to open the serial monitor and ensure you've got the board rate set and you'll see your UUID. So take a copy of that as we'll need that shortly. If we now go over to the Pico Voice website, we can log in with the account we created last time. And then we'll need to go to the Porcupine Wake Word engine, which you can see here on the left or on the toolbar at the top. So if we just select that, we can type in our new Wake Word or Wake Words, and there is some tips on how to choose these words, which is useful to review. And we're going to use the phrase a visual micro. Then we press train wake word and we can now select our platform, which for the Nano 33 BLE is the ARM Cortex M chip. So we just need to go and select the correct board. As you can see, we could use other boards which are available as well. And now we'll need to go and get a copy of our UUID and then paste that into the unique identifier field. Now simply press the train button and this will take potentially a few minutes to validate and train the model for you. Now that's complete. We can see our, our custom wake word is available to download and we can just download the zip file to our machine. So we'll need that a little later to wire up to our sketch. You can, of course, then also go and test your wake word with the browser on the right and the microphone on your PC. There are a number of other wake words available, but we're just going to test our custom wake word. So click microphone. If we say visual micro, it says wake word detected. So we know that works well. So if we now go back to our Pico voice example from last time, we're going to need to go into the params.h file, which you can do with F12 or by double clicking the header file in the solution explorer. And we're going to need to replace the wake word keyword array with our new file that we've just downloaded. So if we delete the existing one, and then go and unzip the zip file that we've just downloaded from the website. We'll see that there is a new params.h file available. So you can just drop this into Visual Studio to view it. And we'll need to copy the new wake word keyword array. So we'll just grab that and the length attribute and copy that back into our original params.h in our sketch project and save the file. 
Now we just need to build and upload this to our board again. And we'll have our new wake word programmed into our sketch for our little Christmas tree light switch. Of course you can test this in the serial console as well. So if we say visual micro, it says wake word detected, and then we can say turn the lights on. And we can see that that's worked as expected. So there you go. It's quite simple to add your own wake words. And in a future video, we'll look at how to add new intents using the Rhino Intent Engine. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please do check out the other videos on our channel. And let us know in the comments if there's any more information needed.